Welcome to a captivating dive into Britain's economy. Recent reports indicate a mild recession, but what does this mean for the labor market? As we delve into the current state of Britain's economy, we're met with a landscape of change and adaptation. Economic activity has taken a hit, leading to a mild recession. This in turn has consequences rippling through various sectors, most notably the labor market. Unemployment has nudged upward though, interestingly, it remains under 4%. On the surface, this might seem like a positive. However, when we look closer, we can see that job vacancies are on the decline. This tells us that opportunities for work are becoming slightly less abundant, a trend that is worth keeping an eye on. But it's not all gloomy skies over the British Isles. In fact, there are some silver linings to be found. Despite the recession, wages are on the rise, and what's more, they're rising at a faster pace than prices. This means that living standards for workers are improving, a welcome change in an otherwise challenging economic climate. Yet, we find an interesting paradox here. Employers, despite the economic downturn, are holding on to their staff, an indication of their anticipation and hope for an economic recovery. This retention, while beneficial for job security, has led to a slight deceleration in pay growth. Moreover, the labor market remains tight. It's a seller's market, so to speak, with shortages apparent in several sectors. This tightness, while it can be a challenge, also presents opportunities for those seeking employment in these high-demand areas. While employers are holding on to staff in hopes of economic recovery, this has caused a slight dip in pay growth. But, the labor market remains tight, with shortages in several sectors. Now, let's delve into the structural issues plaguing Britain's economy, which have led to a lower employment rate compared to pre-pandemic levels. The primary structural challenge impacting the economy is the increasing number of individuals stepping out of the labor force. This is not a straightforward case of individuals losing their jobs. Rather, it's about people choosing or being forced to leave the workforce entirely. This exodus from the labor market is driven by various factors, with health conditions being one of the most prominent ones. In the wake of the pandemic, more and more people have found themselves dealing with long-term health issues. This has resulted in a significant number of individuals being unable to participate in the labor market, thus contributing to the lower employment rate. The impact of these health conditions extends beyond the individuals themselves. It also poses a significant challenge to the economy as it reduces the available labor pool, leading to labor shortages in various sectors. Another structural issue is the persistent wage stagnation. While wages are rising faster than prices, the rate of wage growth has slightly decreased. This is due to employers retaining staff in anticipation of economic recovery. It's a sensible strategy in the short term, but in the long run it may lead to a decrease in workers' real income, making it harder for them to meet their basic needs. Furthermore, there's the issue of job vacancies decreasing. This suggests that businesses are hesitant to expand their workforce, possibly due to uncertainty over the economic outlook. This hesitance to hire also contributes to the lower employment rate and adds to the challenges faced by those looking for work. Indeed, these structural issues persist, posing significant challenges for Britain's economy. The labor market remains tight, even as the number of people out of the labor force increases. The ripple effect of these issues is felt throughout the economy, affecting everything from consumer spending to business investment. These structural issues persist, posing significant challenges for Britain's economy. But the question remains, how can these be addressed? As we examine the road ahead for Britain's economy, it's clear that solutions are needed to address these ongoing challenges. The current economic landscape is undeniably complex, with structural issues and labor market shortages posing significant hurdles. However, potential solutions are on the horizon. Government policies could play a crucial role in reshaping the labor market. By investing in education and training programs, we could equip the workforce with the skills needed to fill the gaps in various sectors. Additionally, incentives for companies that provide professional development opportunities could stimulate job growth and retention. Private sector initiatives also hold considerable promise. 
Businesses could proactively address labor market shortages by creating more flexible working conditions, allowing those previously unable to participate in the workforce to do so. This could include remote working options or flexible hours, which could particularly benefit individuals with health conditions. Furthermore, innovative partnerships between the public and private sectors could be key. Together, they could develop targeted solutions to address specific structural issues. For instance, joint initiatives could focus on upskilling workers in industries with high job vacancies or providing support for those out of the labor force. The road ahead also calls for a shift in mindset. As we navigate this new economic landscape, embracing change and adaptability will be vital. Businesses, governments and individuals all have a role to play in shaping a resilient, inclusive and prosperous economy. While the road to recovery may be long and fraught with challenges, the resilience of Britain's economy should not be underestimated. Remember to subscribe for more insightful updates on Britain's economy and beyond.